Hi, sports fans, I'm Colonel Failure, and you're watching the Electro Sports Football League. And we're into the second phase of pre season where every team will get to play again. Uh, the flip is that uh, all the teams that were playing away last time will be playing at home, which means that I'll be taking control of them. Uh, in the first round, both Bulldozer Power and Peninsula Transport lost, uh, which means that, well, one of them's going to get a win and one of them's going to come away with two losses in pre season. Uh, it was a bit of a disaster. Uh, on paper, Bulldozer Power are significantly outclassed. Are they, though? Let's find out. Now, obviously, I know the, uh, the composition of the BDP team pretty well, uh, but I can't remember anything about Peninsula Transport, but we're going to find out. Uh, no, 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 you're, not, no, you're got, not getting through there. No, not this time. A 14-yard return to uh, set the game in motion. Same rules are going to apply. I have to pass on first down, uh, and then second down, I have to run. Third down, depends how far there is to go. Let's do this. Tight end, I reckon. Lovely job. There you go. Uh, a nice 23-yarder to Chester Crank Fonz there, who managed to uh, manage to beat the uh, uh, the linebackers and, and come up with something solid. All right, let's try something a bit more ambitious. I didn't feel that confident with this uh, with this QB, but we'll we'll see anyway. All right, number 80. You should be the big dog. Let's see what you've got. There we go. Yeah, nice. Oh, he's got big dog speed, that's for sure. Not bad. Tried to uh, snag it around the corner there, but it wasn't happening. Bernard learning curve with a 41-yard catch. Oh, well, we're not going to see the running go. Well, we no, I don't know. I'm going to pass the halfback and see if he's uh, if he's got any money. And uh, let's go. All right. Yep. And get some. Yeah. All right. He's got some pace. And that's uh, Jermaine Arc Discharge there with an eight-yard catch and a touchdown. Oh, yeah. Uh, right, okay. I, I can't... I have no idea about the kicker. So, uh, let's see if the kicker is feeling lively or not. Right about there. That should be good enough. Oh, yeah. Smooth as silk. Beautiful work. Police and Transport there taking the lead. Um, oh, yeah. See, I know who's... Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. Mephisto's returning. That's an odd choice. I'd have gone with failure. Oh, it is failure. There you go. Yeah, no, he's not running. Nice. I've kicked it to the chicken zone, which is probably a good idea, actually, because he's got some speed. Um, right, let's keep it basic. Keep it simple. Keep it uh, keep it in line. All right. Now, the one thing I do know about BDP is they've got a very good offensive line, because I spent money on that. Uh, there's a five-yard run to get them underway. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's, let's go straight to pressure and see what that does for us. Because uh, we're not going to get through the interior of this line. Not with these uh, not with these players. Yeah, I'm failure there. Couldn't, couldn't quite see the hole that was straight in front of him. That's uh, going to leave them with a third and three. Uh, let's, uh, let's stuff them up here with, uh, with a bit of the clamp. All right, here we go. You've got to manage the hole. Watch for the hole. There they go. No, I'd have to flame your neck. I moved out of the hole. Oh no. There we go. Okay. Alright. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So they're going to run it on every down. No, I should have seen this coming. Um, okay. Yeah. That's, that's like, we can outscore them. I'm, I'm reasonably good at, uh, at offense these days. And uh, the Peninsula team are certainly looking like they've got a few weapons, so that doesn't bother me too much. <laughs> Eat that, you cocksure git. Mighty Buffon there instigating a two yard loss. Lovely bit of work. Uh, one X cover deep. I reckon they might. I might. They might air this one. Ready. All right. Okay. Yeah. There. Yeah, look. He's in the shotgun. Yeah. This has got a bit of pass. Surely. Nope. Oh, why don't I got out of the way again? Okay. I didn't purposefully build a one-man team, you know, but uh, it does seem to have turned out that way. I also invested very heavily in my quarterback, but uh, they don't seem to be. Don't seem to be interested in using it. Well, if they're keen on. On playing the run every down, then I'll I'll cover it. Eat that, Shep Rotten, round the outside, boof. Ah, yeah, that worked. All right, what do they got now? They've got a second and thirteen. You reckon they'll run it again? I've got to say that they're not going to. I think I think we'll keep them the four three. We'll keep a four man front. Uh, but I anticipate a pass here, because you would surely. Nope. Okay. 
All right, well, it only, it only got seven yards off that. Yes, well, eight. Okay, apparently eight yards off that. Anyway, see, it's the uh, end of the first quarter. Still seven to nothing. They are chewing the clock up. Um, all right, we'll stay on, stay on the 4-4 then. Let's, let's try and contain these guys. Yeah. Oh, look, he's running again. Not this time you don't, pal. No. That's not a first down. Inches. Inches. Uh, they're going to go for it because I have a suspicion that the uh, the AI has, uh, has twigged that the uh, the kicker is a load of old rubbish. Well, I'll stop here and uh, and that will play very much into our hands. We stopped him, right? Yes. Larry Splendid stopped at the line. Lovely work. And, uh, and that's BDP losing their possession early on there and we're going to take over with uh, the aerial attack. Who do we like? Uh, 83. All right. There you go. Right, there he is. Oh, he's wide open. No, oh, no, tipped. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to see our running game then. All right, I'm up for it. Uh, we'll, we'll run us outside because I know exactly what's waiting for us inside and it is not fun. Um, right. And go. All right, there you go. Yep, yep. Gets enough of a block. He's got some distance. Nudged out of the bounds there, but only after a gain 25 yards. Ah, oh, discharge there, getting it done. Uh, you, you know what? Next time around, I will try an inside run, just because we should. All right, 83. We'll try you again. All right. I know you're going on deep pattern this time around. So, uh, oh, you're not. You're, you're cross country once more. Well, he's got it. I mean, he, get, he got manhandled there, but that's Gresley picking up 14 yards. Lovely. Uh, right, keep it keep it going, keep it going. What have we got? 150 and change left in the quarter. Uh, I don't really want to pass to any of these people. They've all, all had a pass. Oh, no, 84. There you go. All right, there you are. Yeah, I hadn't quite set my feet that time around, so the pass was not as accurate as it could have been, but he was covered as well. This is the problem with with naming your your receiver before you snap the ball is you're not taking the time to uh, to investigate what's coming up straight up the middle yeah no no that wasn't that wasn't going to happen there all right third and 10 yeah okay no it's fine it's fine uh yeah stick go with the arch all right i'm looking at wide receiver one here but uh, i'm going to try and keep the options open uh yeah looks good lovely He's away, and uh, that's a solid 31 yards there for Bernard Learning Curve. Uh, we've got three timeouts. I should probably consider calling one fairly soon as we're uh, we're under a minute left to play. Uh, but uh, no, I think uh, tight end, end zone, that's the kind of thing I'm looking at here. All right, let's do it. Now, close enough. Is it though? It's a nine yard pass. Oh, timeout, perhaps. Uh, second and one. Take it straight up the middle, then. All right, here we go. Yep, 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 yep. Go. Dominant. Oh, discharge there. Knocking in a two yards. Scamper to lock in the touchdown. Beautiful work. We'll take the extra point. We'll take extra points every time we get the chance, uh, unless we're trailing, you know. And there. Nice. Splits the upright, and that's 14 to Peninsula Transport. Nothing to the Bulldozer Power Team. Go on. I'll let you run this one back. Let's see what you can do with it. Oh, it's foolish on my part, obviously, but uh, not a lot when you run straight into some fat bloke. No, he gives you a right kick in. Uh, right, 31 seconds left to play. Surely, surely they're going to pass. They haven't got time to just run it. I mean, we'll play with cover anyway. Keeping the free safety back is probably a good idea, but I mean, no, they, they are going to run it. You haven't got the time for this, kids. 24 seconds to play, an eight-yard run there by failure, unsurprisingly. Uh, keep the deep cover on, because I don't need to explain because, because, I mean, I did that last, last down. See, look, oh, what a plum. Yeah. Just eaten alive. Third and one. Two seconds left in the half. Well, you can call whatever you like, then, clowns. What's the? Uh, what's the? Yeah, a bit of deep zone. That'll do it. Yep. Two man back. That'll be fine. Go on. I know what you're gonna do. Are oh, you passing now? Well, I've called a pass defence. They got the. They've got a catch, but not enough. 
Bernie Crampons there with a 31-yard catch for Bulldozer Power. Too little, too late. Half-time has been called and it's 14-0 Peninsula Transport. Uh, let's go straight into the second half where things are going to get equally dramatic, if not more so. All right, where to kick off? You want them to kick, you want them to run it back? Nah. Okay. You probably probably undershot that then. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. It's, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And where's he going to go? He got tackled there by the kicker. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll grant you that. Um. Right. Okay. Good. So uh, back in business once more. We'll go with the clamp because they're almost certainly going to run it. But maybe they're switching up their uh, their offense now. No. I was going to say, because they're trailing by two TDs, maybe they would change it up. But uh, evidently, that's that's not proved to be the case. Uh, what do we want? Let's uh, uh, run a bit of pressure from the outside, although it's it's a, it's a bit pointless doing so. Except, of course, that if the receivers aren't actually involved in the play, that can bring an extra couple of tackles into the thing. 13 attempts for 76 yards. What do you want, a medal? That's, I mean, that's not that impressive. Um, no, yeah, I mean, obviously, if I were driving, we'd have gone a lot further than that, but well, I'm not, so we haven't. Look at that. Straight into trouble, and it's Tiger Chain Gang there with a tackle for loss, and, uh, and BDP has just made it to look ridiculous at this point. Just absolutely no sense whatsoever. This run-first offense is doing them no favors at all, and uh, they, they need to switch to Eyeliner, who I've spent a lot of money on. Nope. No, he's sticking with that. Well, look, under normal circumstances, five yards of play is perfectly reasonable. But this isn't five yards. This isn't normal circumstances. You've got three-minute quarters. You do not have the time to be racking up five yards of play. You've got to be racking up 15, 20. Eat that. That's Jasbert Coca Cabana getting a... Copa Cabana, I should say, uh, getting, his, getting his name in lights, and they're going to punt. Ooh, we're at risk of our first shutout here, you know. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Is anyone going to receive that? Guess not. We just left that for a touchback. I'd have returned it. I would. All right, there's one fourteen to play in the third. Um, yeah, I mean, I could just run the clock out on them, but I'm not going to. Uh, ooh, yeah, nice. Good times. Uh, that was Blix Gornock there with a 12-yard reception. And uh, that, there's a few weapons here on this uh, on this Peninsula team. I am going to let the the, uh, the play clock run down every time, though, uh, because we don't, we don't need this to go any further. Right, okay, let's start rotating through all the players we haven't called yet. Uh, snake. Okay. Who do we like? I'll wait and see who's open. I think I've got the time. Uh, I'm not as intimidated by their... Uh, defensive line as they possibly thought I should be. Crank Fonz there making it happen. Super duper. Alright. Uh, have I done all pass shorts now? Yes. No. Fine. Halfback pass. Ah, I can feel it coming, can't you? Yeah, alright. Yeah. Has he got cover? Nope. And he slips the leash. Oh, that was some, that was some speed. There was some good closing speed going on there, but the tackle was flumped, uh, and therefore Arc Discharge manages to scamper for 35 as we head into the fourth quarter. And uh, we're in scoring zone again. All right, come on. There you go. Lightning. You'll do. I mean, calling a deep pass at this point is possibly a little overkill, but we'll give it a go anyway. All right, and he's run his route. He's wide open in the end zone. Marvellous work. Blix Gornock there with 12 yards and a touchdown. Punt that sucker right through the uprights, please. One sucker punting coming up. Not anywhere near full power, and it's still good enough to get the point. And uh, that point has been got. 2.53 left in the half. Well, left in the game, frankly. We'll kick this one straight out of the back of the end zone. Yeah, what are you going to do? Chicken. They should run that back. Come on, get some gumption. Uh, right. What's been working so far? Well, I think we stick with the stack. The clamps work pretty well. Let's try to wedge. Which apparently is an all-out blitz. Well, they've got a lot of dudes in the line there, but I don't know what they're going to do with it. They have gone to the air. Nothing doing. 
that looked like that looked like an error from the receiver rather than anything else. Okay, well if they are going to be uh, going to be playing with a little bit of uh, a little bit of pass happy now, then uh, maybe we should protect against that. Either way, this this kind of sort of pseudo prevent that I'm running here is not going to do us any harm. Well, I completed the pass, but it was only for two yards, and uh, they're, they're going to have to they're going to have to turn this around. This is some dreadful play calling. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, cover two pressure with a bit of inside blitz. Oh, that's very tasteful. All right, if you say so, let's do it. All right, they've they've gone to the ground again, and I think they've come up short. It's a six-yard run, and that's fourth and two. They are going for it. Well, yeah. Let's go back to good old reliable, trusty clamp, and see if that can slow things down yet further. There's no. no I, I stepped out of the way again. I was trying. You see, I tried to get the advantage over the centre. Um, and just power through there, but the centre just keeps going. Yeah. No, incidentally, he's running to your left. You're going, oh, oh no, you're, you're right. My left, obviously. Yeah. Uh, anyway, first down, and uh, they're on the uh, the bulldozer. No, they're, no, they're on my 42-yard uh, line. Okay. All right. It'd be lovely to get a shot out here. I know it's against my team, but I'd love that anyway. They're not scoring a field goal. I'll tell you that for nothing. Yeah, field goal, not happening. What do you think? Keep the stack on? Keep the stack on. Uh, yep, yep, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, based on what I did last time, this is a pass. It's not this time, and you stepped out of the way once again, but we did get some backup there coming from the safety. Uh, Bulldozer Power called a, a timeout with 121 left to play. It's third and one. Most reliable stack, please. Okay. Once again, all the receivers in the line. And I guess that's them kind of doubling as, as tight ends. Uh, they went with a fullback run there. Ominous Bob with 15 yards. Used another timeout. 112 to play on the 18-yard line. Oh, I think the dream of a shutout is perhaps perhaps over already. But, you know, we'll, we'll keep that dream alive. Let's go there. Just go straight ahead. Don't try and do anything clever with the centre. Right. It Ironically, of course, had I tried to go towards the centre there, I might have been a little closer to that gap, but I wasn't, so I didn't. That's life for you. You, you. you make the decisions you make at the time you make them, and sometimes they pay off, and sometimes they don't pay off. Do you want to step towards the centre? I do. There you go. Oh, snagged. Boo! Kojak missed her on there with an 11 yard catch and uh, Bulldozer Power have saved themselves from humiliation. Apparently they're going to try and kick the extra point. Go on then, I'll be impressed if you do. Yeah? That's impressive. A, a little bit wide, a little bit short. There. Yeah, that's that's gone well for them. And uh, with just 56 le seconds left to play, Peninsula Transport have got this one. By the uh, by, the short and curlies. Has he got room? Has he got room? No, oh, one more block and I would have had it. Never mind. It's okay. You don't. You don't need it. It's it's all good. Right. Let's go long. Uh, who wants it? I can see who wants it on this one. Let's go. All right. There we go. Let's see if Event Horizon's got a cannon for an arm. Or a howitzer. Wait. Very, very dangerous situation there. As both defensive ends come up to say, how do you do there to the uh, to the quarterback? And the quarterback had a, had a moment where he said, oh, because that's what quarterbacks sound like. All right, inside run. Let's do it, let's do it, let's go, let's go. Bit of a hole. He's got, oh, he couldn't quite make the corner. Call timeout. Yeah, let's run the score up on him. It's what I'd do to anybody else. Uh, right. Arc Discharge is running well today. Well, I know, but uh, equally, everything's working pretty well, so I'm, I'm not too fussed. Uh, we've got over 200 yards passing now. There's the pass. Tight end. Timeout, 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 timeout. Thank you. 28 yards. What have we got? 15 seconds. That's time for two. All right, where are you going? Let's call this, because that gives us the most variety. I think we're going to number 80 here if he gets open. All right, there we go. Yeah, get open, get open, get open. Hurl it! Four seconds to play. 
It's going to have to be a heroic run here, I think. All right, okay, well, that's okay. Heroic runs are very much my raison d'etre. All right. I need you... Uh, oi, 80. Hold that block. And uh, someone go stuff that linebacker. Uh, no, no, no. Flaming heck, he came around. He had the fret crouton there. Oh, yeah, it's a defensive tackle. He's the most expensive defensive tackle in the league. Just mentioning at the moment. Anyway, the game's over, and it's uh, it's not close. 21, Peninsula Transport. Six, Bulldozer Power. If we look at the stats here, uh, Event Horizon, uh, 11 of 15 for 229 yards in three-minute quarters. Pretty good going. Spread the passes around pretty well. Only refund didn't get a pass, but that's a fullback, so who really cares? Uh, five runs for 38 yards although one of them was from two yards out, so that's going to drag the average down a bit. Arc Discharge looked pretty good. Uh, as we look over defensively, a few tackles for loss going in there, but that's what you're always going to see up against a run-first offense. Uh, clown Car. Eight tackles. Great. And there's the special teams. Mmm, so good. So we flip the teams over. Eyeliner, four of the three or four attempts, including a touchdown. It should have thrown, thrown more often. Twenty-one rushing, uh, uh, rushing attempts, got 127 yards out of it, but could not convert it into points, and it used up too much clock. Should have passed more. All right, I'll make a mental note of that. See that you do. Uh, defensively, nothing really to write home about. That uh, that nice tackle at the end there by Crouton, really the only high point. And then if we look at the special teams, we all feel enlightened in some way, don't we? Our second game sees the wretched minstrels at home to the Bumson Medics. In the first game, uh, the uh, the Medics won and the Minstrels won. So uh, so this this really could be a, this is another exciting game. It's, it's two winners going head to head. Uh, look out for exponential Tyrone on the uh, on the medics. He racked up an unholy amount of yardage in the first game, but that he was playing under five minute rather than three minute quarters, so he did have that advantage. Going, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. You're making that up. Anyway, it looks a little one sided on paper, but I'm working the weaker team. Can I use that to generate a win? So it's Lou Prowess back to kick. And uh, we'll we'll be doing our best with it once we've got it. All right. Where are we looking? Yeah, I see where we're looking. I don't think you've got room, though. Well, you're looking where you always look. You always like... You love that sideline. That's your favourite place in the whole world. All right. To the short pass. Let's go. Okie dokie. And it's Gonzalez back to pass. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll turn this one out to a bit... Uh, hadn't quite got my feet ready on that one, but the pass rush was coming, and, uh, and I had to get rid of it. So uh, that's, that's an incomplete pass from the first attempt. Possibly could have made a bit more out of that, but we didn't. There we go. Yep, that's good. That's not good. Don't run into your man. Only two yards off the second down. Uh, here's you, here you now the question is, has Bumson actually got the skills where they matter in, in other words, have they been lucky with regard to the positions they've invested in? Or uh, or have I just been quite poor so far? Like it! That's Pingu Specific there, making mileage. And all the way down to the two, three yard line. Something like that, 60 yard reception. Eat my dust. Uh, that worked very nicely indeed. A uh, little halfback pass here for the touchdown. Uh, we'll try it. Yep, yep, wait, 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 now. Get in. He was in. It was in, ref. It was in. Ref, it was in. He was... Oh, it was definitely in. Fine, all right. No, we'll just punch it in the last yard. Ref needs to get his eyes checked. You in? Eyes oh, in. Trenton Trinity there with a one-yard run and a touchdown. Uh, a really low rush average, but it doesn't really matter if one of them's a touchdown. All right, what's this kicker like? Um, incredibly highly skilled based on the speed of movement of the whatnot, but no strength whatsoever. All right, it's two pointers all day then. Fine. Well, we're now going to get our first look of the day. Oh, no, we're not. I'm going to try and kick it out the end zone. You haven't done, no, have you? No, I haven't. Okay. All right, who's this? This is Hieronymus Dude on the return. Uh, that's not the most terrifying player they've got. I'm going to run around a bit. Okay. 
All right, what's it going to be? Well, we're expecting run here, so uh, so let's get the clamp on straight away. Yeah, I know, I'm not proud. Shamrock bubble jack, the quarterback, passes it off. And there's Tyrone, scampering for six. Ooh. Oh, no, colour me intimidated. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 it's fine. It's okay, it's all good, it's all good. We can stop him. We only have to, st we only have to stop him on one drive and we win the game. You reckon? Well, assuming I can score on all the other drives. Linebacker there, don't know what he was doing. Tyrone breaks one tackle easily. Uh, manages to scramble for, for another bunch after that and take 13 yards off us. Cheeky blighter. Uh, let's keep chucking the 4-4 at him then. We need, to, we need more in the box. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Kill him. There you go. That's the that's the stuff. Scooter Boam. With a one-yard loss inflicted on the play there. Keep it up. They're going to do it again. Doesn't matter which one you choose. Just choose any of them. That's a, that's a, a good amount of pressure we're showing there. <laughs> Eddie Brazil goes, Not today you don't. And I, I, I've no idea, I don't know, just off the top of my head, whether Eddie Brazil is any flaming good or not. Uh, he might be complete bobbins. Uh, but when he launches himself straight at the uh, at the running back there, there's not a lot going on. We've gone for a bit of pressure here to give us a bit more pass coverage, because I had a feeling that they would still run. Yeah. Thug life, Clem Rigid. All right, there's that stop we were talking about. Yeah. He's not so frightening now, is he? No, he's he's not so frightening now. You're right. So uh, we're we're into uh, it's, uh, Jack Rasputin with the with the punts. Are we going to try and return this? No, too scared. We could. No, all right then. Okay. I mean that's that's given us the ball in a really terrible position. We're on our own two yard line. Don't get sacked. That would be a, 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 a bit disappointing. All right. Well, you know, I'll do my best. I mean, I'm I'm fond of whip. As you know, so uh, not in that way. Uh, so we'll see how we get on. Like this, I think. What a zero-yard pass! Brilliant. No, that's that's going to help. Justine Underworld there, delivering some vengeance. Uh, inside run. It's going to have to be. I don't want to chance the outside. Well, it, it, you might have to. Depends what that. Depends what number fifty gets up to now. All right, hang on. Excuse me. No flaming neck. If people would just get out of my way, I'll tell you something. Trinity, he's got some legs, but uh, what he's not is particularly nimble, uh, and therefore he doesn't he doesn't change direction very quickly. So uh, so you you have to commit early on to where you want him. All right, third down. We're going for a pass here. I'm looking at you, eighty. Let's have it. All right. I'm not. I shouldn't be looking at you, eighty. Oh, I am doing. <clears throat> And a lovely bit of work there from Pingu Pacific. It's 35 yards. And uh, that is a first down. And we're out of the danger zone. Fly me to the danger zone. No thanks very much. I'm going to leave the danger zone as soon as humanly possible. 85, get open. All right, looking at 85. He has got open. Ooh, almost picked up the, uh, the, the deflection, but didn't. Okay, what are we going to do now? Well, we're going to run to the left, aren't we? Are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to give that a go. All right. Okay. What have we got left on the clock? 104 left in the half. And uh, as much as we've got the flipping trinity, come on, man. You've got to change your angle faster than that. Third and six. Take the time off the clock. We'll, we're, uh, we're not too bothered about it. Right. We've called... Uh, no, let's go with the snake. A nice crossing route about 10, 12 yards out would be super. All right. Okay. Here we go. Tries it, can't complete. Oof. Yeah. 31 seconds left in the half. I think we go for it, you know. You don't want to see the punter. Nobody wants to see a punter at any time in any game. What is it? Fourth and six. Call something that will work. Uh, Arch. You do like Arch? I do like Arch, but I've got to, I've got to get an open man in a reasonably good position. All right. Now? Yeah. That'll do. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Thank you. Dennis Climax there, making me catch. All right, we need a touchdown, and we've got one or two, if we're lucky, plays to make it happen. Chuck it straight downfield. Let's go. All right, who's our guy? 21? 81. I don't know, one of them. 
Alright, okay. Oh, oh no, that's a sack. Yep, it's uh, Chanticleer Hegemony with a 16 yard sack. And, oh, I wanted to take half time. Alright, okay. All right. No, we're going to try the same play again. I just, I did the too long. I know it's second down, but it's the end of the half. I'll do what I like. Be quiet. Alright, okay. And, alright, no pressure coming this time. Now, Cannon. There's the catch. Couldn't make it to the end zone, though. So, ultimately, Arquebus J. Lamar there can only manage a 43-yard catch. Uh, so, that's that's just for show rather than anything else. It is 6 to nothing at halftime. Close. It's a close game. Bumson will get the ball first in the second half. Can they do anything with it? Well, yeah. Look at the level of skill on this kicker. But he's got absolutely no power at all. Now, kickoffs don't count. A good kickoff, and it will go into the end zone every single time. That's just going to happen. Uh, right. What are they going to do? They're going to run it. Okay. Yeah. What do you want? Clamp? Wedge? Let's try wedge. Okay. All right. Try and wedge. What are you going to do? Are you going to stay in your in your blocking zone here? Yeah. Oh, they, they've taken to the air. This looks like a slightly more responsive offense, because you wouldn't take to the air unless you were behind. And they are behind, so they're taking to the air. I'm, stick, I'm keeping with the stack, though, because... You can feel him. You can feel him there. Number twenty-seven. You can sense that he's he's muscling up for something big, or you know another six-yard carry. Either way, he was he's muscling up for it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. What now? Pressure. Bring the pressure. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Yeah. There's the run. Go on, man. Break, break loose of your tackle and you've got... Oh, flipping heck. I, I went zipping off towards the sideline there. I don't know if it was... Uh, if my mum had called me in for my tea or what it was there, but uh, no, it's that that was just a bad bit of play. We should have nailed him behind the line. I mean, he got, only got one yard off it, but even so, that was that was a poor bit of defence. Uh, I'm flaming. Whoa! Ran over him like he wasn't there. Tyrone absolutely monstered that cornerback. Just killed him. Like a freight train driving through a cardboard house in the movies. Exponential Tyrone just demolished that guy. I don't know what his name is, but I mean, we should speak fondly of him at his, uh, in the eulogy. Uh, 13 yards left, Tyrone. He's, uh, he's still motoring. Right, okay. Pressure's not doing it for us. We need to switch back here. Let's get, get the clamp back on. Uh, big lads, that's what this is going to take. All right, okay, yeah, go on, go on, go on. There you go. Now, see, see, the big lads works. Clement St. John Jr. there with a two-yard loss inflicted on the play. Uh, same again. They're not, they're not ready to pass yet. No, they're just not. All right, okay, what do you think? Same play, same play, same play. They'll never see it coming. You reckon? Yeah. Is that what? No, no, they didn't see it coming. It's true, but it didn't work. Oh, flaming heck! He just absolutely battered a linebacker out of the way. Wow. Um, okay, uh, he's he's genuinely quite a terrifying kind of dude. Um, that's okay. I'm not that terrified. They're going to score here. I don't know whether or not they're going to uh, nail the extra point or not. Uh, but it's this is going to be a last team to have the ball wins. He can't quite cross the plane. There he goes in. Spinning around, little legs pumping away there, and Tyrone lands the touchdown. Uh, they are going for it. Yeah, yeah. What have we got that stops that? Um, try Slash. Okay. Why do you need a guitar solo? Thank you. Kill him! Yes! Good. Well, that keeps it exciting. Donna Baps there, making it happen. And uh, it is six to six as we are 30 seconds from the final quarter. And uh, it's going to be the Minstrels back in charge of the situation, presuming they can stay in charge of the situation. He's going to try for the sideline again. He can't get there. Trinity is not bad, but he's not good. All right, deep pass. Arch. Yeah. Why? You haven't had much success with it lately. I don't know. I don't know but, I mean, you've got, to, you've got to believe in these things. Well, you know what? Fullback pass. That's unconventional. There you go, that's a cheeky little uh, two whole yards. Oh, yeah. Great. Uh, and then what? Let's try chucking it up the inside and see what happens. I'm not convinced the inside is going to work for us, you know. Try it. Alright, okay, let's go. 
I think you might have called it. I, know, I had a moment there where I thought I called a quarterback run. I didn't, and that was fine. Third and one. Okay. More of the same. More of the same. Up the inside. <laughs> yeah. You know what? We've we've done, we've done okay running to the left side of the line so far. Might not get very far because uh, there you go. See, the, oh, yeah, flame it. didn't hold the block. I mean, we got the first down, which is great, and it's chewing the clock up, which is also great. But had that block been held, we were gone for 25 plus there. Ho hum. I complain a lot, but you know what? It's it's sort of working. Give that a go. Oh, nice piece of defending, 37. Don't know who that was, but uh, that was good work. <laughs> Opposing team. Uh, right, let's try an outside run here. We don't. This could be. This could be lethal. All right, 46. See if you can nobble 52 for me, please. You did, but a little bit later than I'd like. Well, it, demonstrating perhaps some actual, uh, some nimble play there was uh, was Trinity and uh, you know that's, that's bought us something but here we are third and six still in our own half we need something from this I've seen it I've got it get it man get over the line and more that's flinging Fuegas and let me tell you he should not have made 33 yards off that he moved like an arthritic old man who, uh, who was getting up in the middle of the night for a call of nature and, uh, you know, that's that's relatively slow. And you know that a call of nature is only in, in bladder only. There, there needs to be some kind of... Oh, nice catch. And nice touchdowns. Climax there. 29-yard catch. Very nice. All right. That was, that was very tasteful. Broke a tackle. Got in there. Made it all work. All right. Now's the time for a two-pointer. Come on, Trinity. Don't let me down. There you go. All right, two points for the man there. Seven attempts, 26 rushing yards. This gives you some idea of, of how ineffective he's been. I mean, look, he's, he's got the job done, but it's just not an exciting back. Okay, right. Let's stop this guy. Anyone? Yeah! Okay, yep, all right. That's a 20-yard return. And uh, 58 seconds left in the game. Wretched Minstrel's up by eight. Yeah, that means nothing. One good play here. I think they might switch to the air, you know. I think they might go run once and then, then air it out. Okay, well, that's a, an eight-yard run. They, they burned a timeout on that one. They've got to go long. They've got to. They don't have the time or confidence to stay on this short-running malarkey. No, they're, they're sticking with the short-running malarkey. Well, it was second and one. Yeah, but this, this isn't going to get them there. They don't have the time to make this work. 45 seconds left in the game. They're down to their final timeout. Stack it once. Stack it once. Because I do think they're going to run it again like complete idiots. Yeah. Breaks one tackle but then gets thumped. They've called their final timeout. That was a five-yard run. There's 37 seconds left on the clock. You reckon they're going again? I don't care whether they are or not. We need to make sure that we've got cover deep in case they get a breakaway. Now, we know that uh, that pass defence is not all of that. So now, now, now they've gone to the air. Oh, <laughs> that's what you get, son. Kim Kitsuruga. To Kitsuragi. Kitsuragi. There. Thumped out of bounds at the nine. 15 yards to play. 15 yards. 15 seconds. All right, 15 seconds to go. First down, nine yards for the end zone. They need both this and a two-point conversion. They've gone to the air. Have the touchdown. Oh, crumbs. Clarence Rising there, his first touch of the afternoon, and uh, he's got himself a 10-yarder, and they're just going for the extra point. Well, the game is early access, friends, and therefore you should expect the, uh, the implausible to turn up from time to time. Where, uh, where the AI goes, no, no, it's all right. No, no, we're, we're just happy to have played. And go, yeah. yeah that, was, that was not necessarily the best decision I've ever seen in, in football. What do you think, Trenton? Are you going to redeem yourself and make a good run? I'll try you somewhere different if you like. There we go. That's nice. That's, no. Oi, 93, do your job. What kind of a block was that? 
Anyway, there you go. That's uh, that wraps it up for this one. And uh, a good close game. Wretched Minstrels win it 14 to 13. Uh, and that's largely because the running game in isolation will not get you there. Uh, anyway, the Minstrel stats. 9 of 13 for Gonzalez, but 217 yards. That's pretty respectable. Uh, spreading the passes around to everybody. Pingu Pacific has to stand out as the, uh, as the key receiver, though. Did a very nice job. Uh, on the ground, Trinity. No. Turning our attention to defence, and uh, yeah, a few tackles for loss, but again, this is what you get when you face a run-first defence. There's nothing really special in there. Uh, elsewhere, there were, there were special teams, and that happened too. Switching our attention over to the medics, 3 of 3 for Bernard Dunk, including a touchdown, and that's 50 yards off 3 passes. Maybe want to mix it up a little bit there, boys. Um, uh, Kitsuragi, there he got two catches for 40 yards, which is quite nice. Tyrone, 15 attempts for 112. Usually you'd say, what a great day he had there, but you don't have the plays to do that. You've got to, you've got to turn it around a little bit more quickly. Uh, in a longer period game, uh, the, the, the season games, incidentally, will be six minutes long. So, uh, so a run-first offense might have a little bit more opportunity going on but i wouldn't i wouldn't necessarily call it uh tucker with a couple of stops late on but it's uh, hegemony who, who managed to make a play uh a nice big fat sack while i waited for some dude to get open he never got open i got sacked sailor b uh and then there were special teams I mean, Colonel Failure, thanks very much for tuning in to this second round of pre-season games in the Electro Sports Football League. We return next time, where Colonel School take on the Steganauts, and the Colonel Space Agency take on Cheerio Incorporated. Thanks very much for watching. Pound your face against the subscribe button, and see what happens. Cheerio.